What is going on guys? So today I'm going to show you how to adjust the steering sensitivity of the Hori Overdrive for Xbox Series S, Series S, Windows 10, and Windows 11. I'm going to be showing you how to do it on PC on Windows 11. It's the same on Windows 10. You just need to get the app from the Microsoft Store and then you're able to do all the settings of this wheel that you want. But what do I mean by steering sensitivity? So you can see by default, my car steers a certain amount when I turn the wheel, right? If I wanted to steer more and turn the wheel less, I would turn the sensitivity up. If I wanted to steer, if I want to steer more and have it steer more, like if I have, if I want to do more work steering the wheel to have it steer, I would turn the sensitivity down. So how do we get to that? Well, first we're going to need to get the app from the Windows Store. So I'm going to pause my game here. Um, let me do that. Press the pause button and then we're going to go to the Windows Microsoft Store. So hit the home button or hit the windows button on your keyboard. And I will be recording me doing this from OBS in case you can't read it on my screen from my camera. But anyways, type in Microsoft store. You'll see it's the first result there for me. And then in the Microsoft store, let me grab my mouse here, fumble around really quick. We're going to want to type in Hori app. So I already have it as a search. Um, and then there is the Hori Device Manager for Xbox Series X and Series S. This is the one we want, even though there's a picture of a controller here and there's a picture of a wheel here. This is for a force feedback wheel that's more expensive and a different model. Even though it looks similar, it's not this wheel. This is the app we actually want. So we can just open this, or actually you would just click on this, you would install it. And then once it's installed, you can just open it. It'll then ask you to create a profile for your wheel so it can detect your wheel if it's plugged into your computer and then it'll just create like a profile or it'll ask you to create one. And once you do, you can create it and then you can enter in and you can adjust the steering sensitivity by clicking on the steering settings on the left hand side here. So you can see sensitivity settings right here. Um, if I move back and I turn the wheel a little bit you can see the bar on the top is moving based on how I'm turning the wheel. Okay, now let's turn up the sensitivity and see how that affects things. I already have it turned up a little bit, but let's turn it up even more. Let's turn it up to three. So now it should be turning a lot or I don't have to turn it that much in real life. So it should be a lot of input for not much turning. And you can already see it is a lot more. Like the bar is just shooting up for me, barely turning the wheel, as you can see. So there's that. Let's try turning it down. And then I'll have to turn the wheel a bunch for it to actually pick up some input. So yeah, look, I've already turned the wheel all the way and it's finally picking it up all the way, all the way at full 270 degrees. Wow, that's painful. Yeah, I definitely don't want it at negative three. I would suggest putting it by default, it's going to be at zero, but one or negative one, depending on what you want. If you want it more sensitive, that is totally up to you. If you're playing like a truck simulator and you want to get more turning out of this wheel, definitely turn the sensitivity up because you can get more turning out of it for a full 270. But yeah, anyways, guys, that's how you turn the sensitivity up. I'm going to make a jump cut now to me doing it from OBS in case you couldn't read anything on the screen from my camera. But yeah, I just wanted to show you the wheel while I was doing this. All right, I'm recording from OBS now. I'm actually recording from my screen and I'll be showing you how to change the steering sensitivity of the Hori steering wheel um, on Windows on the over, of the overdrive one. So same thing as I showed you before, but you'll be able to see it a little better. So let's do the Windows key, hit the Windows key on your keyboard to open up the start menu and then start typing in Microsoft. So that'll bring up the Microsoft store. We're gonna to wanna to click on that. And then in the search bar up here, I already have it typed out, but type in Hori space app, H-O-R-I space app. Not the, not the slur, I swear. <laughs> okay, so if you scroll down, um, we'll see there's two apps that we will have to choose from. The first one has a picture of a steering wheel, which is misleading. We actually don't want this one. We want the device manager for Xbox Series X and Series S. 
our steering wheel does not have force feedback. So this is a different app. This is not for us. This is the app for us. So we're gonna click on this one. We're gonna open it and, or we're gonna install it and then we can open it. I already have it installed. Then it'll ask you to create a profile and it'll bring you to this screen after the profile is created, which is like, I don't, you enter a name for the profile. That's all I really asked for. And then we can go to the steering wheel for steering settings. And here is where you can change the sensitivity like before. So remember, I'm like barely turning my wheel right now and it's pretty good on one. If I turn it up, like I'm barely turning my wheel and now it's really turning. You can see the bar is shooting up a lot more. Um, I will leave it on one. And one more thing you wanna know is once you have it set to what you want, you can just close the app and you know close the Microsoft Store and then continue on from your game and the changes will have been applied. You don't have to click save or anything. Actually, what am I doing? Taking a photo. If I race, and now the steering sensitivity will have changed as I drive immediately off the track. But yeah, guys, that is how you change the steering sensitivity of the Hori Overdrive Racing Wheel on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.